So I you know, want to go on from the good member of the 35th about the traditions and um, you know, just talk, when I, I, I want to be able to pass those traditions on to my children and to my grandchildren. And I grew up in a home that I, I was hunting and, and using guns at the age of nine as well. I actually got a shotgun for my 12th birthday. And I used those skills when I ended up, I was a single mom at a young age and living, living in Montana, and I, you know, I had the hunting skills using the gun, and I was very, uh, you know, my dad was really sure about teaching safety and being really safe with the gun and how to, you know, make sure it's unloaded and how, you know, to take care of them, to clean them. But going on with that is that he also taught me how to hunt. And so, like I said, as being a single mom, I actually used that, you know, used my gun to hunt and to, you know, to uh, shoot deer and elk and have meat on the table for my family. And I want to be able to pass that tradition on to my children and my, my grandchildren. The guns that my dad owned uh, when, he, when he died, he died four years ago, and when he died, that's what my children wanted the most were his guns because they were important to them. It reminded them of him, and they wanted those because they had also been taught those, those skills and, and had those fun times, like, like uh, the good member from the Ninth has told us about, some of the really good times of hunting and being out and really you know, taking care and providing for your own family. And they wanted those. And so this, this legislation would then, my sons would have to take a training class so that we could give them my dad's guns. That's, you know, that just takes away all of the tradition from my family and from our country. We have the right to bear arms. There's lots of, you know, good uses for guns. We can use those to feed our families and to protect our families. And that's, as a single mom, that was something that I was really, you know, um, I don't want to say happy about, but felt secure about that I knew how to protect myself and to take care of myself and to take care of my family. Madam Speaker, I, I request, you know, I <laughs> request, I commend you to vote no on this legislation.